What's up guys? Show Upper Hyper, Hyper Day. Uh, we changed things up um, kind of to accommodate that for me, um, us only having 100 pound dumbbells. I wanted to pre-exhaust my, my chest a little bit so we started off on with incline barbell bench press today. Uh, as you can see, I have 245, 245 pounds on the bar. I actually made a mistake. I didn't mean to put 245 pounds. I, for some reason, I threw on the 10s. I just wanted 225, but I got that for seven times, and the program called for uh, 8 to 12. So I was one short, but you know it was a lot more, more load, more weight, so I'll take it. But after that, I hit 225 for nine and then eight reps. All right, here I got... 145 um, and that's for three sets felt pretty good to, uh, that day actually it was PR right? yeah it was my all time PR and it was pretty fast yep 8 to 12 reps how many reps did you get it? I got it for 8 but it was like a, the fastest 8 I ever hit and then what did you get for the next the last two sets? the last two sets 145 for 7 and then drop down to 135 for 8. Yup. Gains, guys. Tankster's getting stronger. And, uh, yeah. Just just the beginning. So here's my set 225. I believe this is for 9 reps. Yeah, it, it ended up being perfect starting with incline bench and pre-exhausting my chest. So the 100-pound dumbbells were... Uh, a lot heavier than usual because when we start with the flat dumbbell press, the hundreds are just, I can go beyond the rep range of 8 to 12, I mean 6 to 8 reps um, with ease. So with by pre-exhausting, it, it, it ended up being perfect for me. Yeah, and then so we moved on to dumbbell bench press. It asked for 4 sets, 6 to 8 reps. You're at 70s. What's funny is before we started this whole workout, some guy, or when I asked for the incline bench press, some guy come, came up to me and was like, everyone hates carbs. That is totally false. <laughs> totally false. Bro science. Carbs are the devil. <laughs> carbs make you fat. That's false, guys. I'm not... Serious. Excess calories makes you fat. Excess carbs make you f make, make, makes you feel alpha. <laughs> as long as, you know, if you're not trying to gain weight and you're in a maintenance, you're fine. Keep the carbs as high as you can. Your protein around uh, a gram to a gram and a quarter per lean body pound. And then uh, your fats, to, you know, a quarter to around a quarter um, per lean body mass pound and then the rest carbs and then your calorie your maintenance calories or your defs or your, your maintenance calories is going to vary based on your metabolism your body um along with a bunch of different factors but i'm not going to get into that i uh, here we moved on to what peck deck fly three sets of eight to twelve reps um what did i do progression wise I, I think I've stuck to the same weight, but I'm working up to, to being able to do that weight for three sets of 12. Nothing exciting about the pec deck fly. You just want to make sure that you're squeezing using your, your inner chest and, yeah, mind and muscle connection to your chest so you don't use the secondary muscles like your, your forearms and your, your biceps and even your shoulders. And then we moved on to... Pull-ups. It asks for three sets, eight to twelve reps. Here I'm just doing body weight, uh, shooting for twelve. And as you can see, um, I was using my Versa grips. My grip started giving out, but I'm still working on that. 
games. Oh, you guys asked for like a review on my Jaybirds and how I like it to my Beats. I mean, I like both of them. I like how Jaybirds are wireless and the Beats. I just like the sound quality. They're perfect. Yep. I think here this day I hit a PR. I was able to hit three sets. The program called for on the pull-ups uh, three sets of. Eight, eight to twelve reps. I was able to hit three sets of ten reps with a forty-five pound plate, and uh, three sets. They, it was it went it went pretty good. The pull-ups went really smooth, and uh, the forty-five pound plate felt nice and light, lighter than last week. So that's progression there. You know, really, you know, reps aren't really the the main the only factor the only uh, factor that go by on on progress i mean you could do the same weight the same amount of reps but the the reps were a lot easier for you that's progress right there that's a win all right moved on to machine rows three sets eight to twelve reps once again this machine you want to focus on that slow and crack contraction. Okay. Dry with the elbows and really engage the lats. What you do get get a little bit of a stretch, but don't set down the weight where you're at a dead dead stop. Just get a stretch and then drive the elbows back for another rep. On here, I think I did the same weight as last week, 165. I was able to hit it for three sets of 10. So I'm probably going to stick to this weight until I'm able to hit three sets of 12 within the, the rep range, and then I will increase the weight. That's how we attack the progression in the show program. The, I'm, I give you a rep range, and you match the rep range and work your way up in weight to the top of the, the recommended rep range. OHPs, what you got on there, some quarters? Yeah, I got some quarters. We, our, tr our triceps are pretty smoked by then. And then um, here I got it asks for three sets, six to eight reps. So I got 95s for all three sets. Actually, yeah, I got 95s for all three sets. So next week, probably bump it up another five pounds. Go to 100, and then he's gonna work in his way up to eight reps for th three sets. All right, here, here was a PR for me. Um, last week I was able to hit three sets of 135 for eight reps so I bumped up the weight to 140 and I completed three sets of eight reps so since I hit the eight reps all three sets I'm gonna increase the weight next week most likely to 145 and uh, again aim for three sets of six to eight Moved on to dumbbell lateral raise. Three sets, eight to 12 reps. Here I got 20s. Um, I got it for all three of them. I got it for 12 reps. So next week, I'm gonna try two, two, two or 22 and a half. I did three sets of 12 with a 32 and a half dumbbells. So I'm going to increase the weight next week to probably 35. And then I think I got more in the tank. So 
I'll probably be able to hit maybe 10, three sets of 10 with with 35 pound dumbbells. So baby steps, guys. I'm not trying to make some crazy jump PRs. Just taking it pound by pound, rep by rep. And then we moved on to dumbbell curls. Um, I'm still working on my biceps. Just trying to take it real slow. Here I got 27 and a half. I was able to hit it 10 and then 9 on the next set. And then I dropped it down to 25. And we did um, 3 sets of 8 to 12 reps. Right? Yes. Curls for the girls. I probably shouldn't have hit, hit that rep. <laughs> Got a little sloppy. You always yeah. smile when you grind. He always <laughs> smiles when he forces a rep where he should have not got taken it that f close to failure. Uh, what do I have? Those are 40 pound dumbbells. I think I was at 37 and a half last week. I hit uh, first set of for 10 reps, second 10, and then third set I only hit 8 reps. And uh, rest time in between sets this day vary between 3 to 5 minutes. Just enough rest time to feel confident that we didn't have to back down the weight or uh, we were going to miss any reps. Our tricep extensions. This is by far the toughest movement because it's at the... the end of the workout and um, it's a, it's an accessory movement anyway but as long as you know we're, we're still trying to push the weight hit the rep range that the program calls for and we're still progressing then it's okay but called for three sets the same thing 8 to 12 reps yeah I think 8 to 12 reps is a good hyper um, rep range. You know, anything beyond 12, 12 reps, you're, you're going to have to decrease the weight a lot, and that decreases the your workload. And then below 8 is just uh, more, more strength training where you're taxing your nervous system more. But that's it for this day, guys. Hope you guys enjoy the video, and uh, keep loving those carbs. Don't discriminate macros. What's up, guys? Happy Friday. I'm here in front of Tankster's house picking him up for lower body day. Headed to the gym for shoal uh, hyper, lower hyper. Sipping on my game day. Furious Pete is uh, official flavor. Tropic Fury. If you guys haven't tried this, it's, it's delicious. Go on mansports.com and uh, use my discount code to save you some money. 20% off, free shipping. Just enter uh, the online coach. Alright, so I'm fully fasted right now. Slept in, woke up a little bit late. A little late. Um, was, didn't feel like, I didn't have an appetite. I didn't feel like eating. So I'm gonna drop by the gas station and go grab some trolley eggs. I uh, went through that whole jar that I uh, showed you guys. What's up guys? Panda bears in the car. <laughs> we wiped out the trolley display. Nine, nine packs. It's nice to have them in stock at home. 17.91, nine packs. So one whole pack is about uh, is 99 grams of carbs. I am gonna have one pack because I'm empty, and it's lower body day. What's up, guys? Lower hyper day. Start off with squats. We did four sets, six to ten reps. Tankster has. 210 on the bar 
he got it for I think let's see he got it for ten reps uh, for the first two sets and then the last two sets he got it for eight reps so he's probably most likely going to continue to keep training with two ten until until he's able to hit four sets of ten reps. After this, we did sumos, uh, six to ten reps, four sets, and then we did some hip thrusts, three sets, six to ten reps, lying hamstring curl, three sets, eight to twelve, leg extension, three sets, eight to twelve, and then standing calf raise, same thing, three sets, eight to twelve. Um, we we're supposed to do seated calf raise and, and an ab movement. Uh, three and four sets, eight to twelve, but uh, ran out of time. I had to uh, go pick up my daughter Zoe, but you know life happens. We kept it a little short. Maybe we'll make it up um, tomorrow on our optional lagging muscle group day. But for this video, we we kept it short. I didn't get that much footage. And uh, the reason being is uh, the district manager was on the floor. He was uh, he was actually working out, and uh, yeah, I didn't want to film in front of him. Here's my set. This is uh, 275. This is by far the easiest I've hit. I've I've, I've repped out 275 pounds. I was able to hit it um, all sets, four sets of uh, 10 reps, which was a PR for me. Um, well, the squat, I am, you know, taking baby steps, just slowly increasing the weight, trying to keep the form as uh, best as I can. Yeah, today felt great. Um, walkout was strong. Um, coming out of the hole was strong. I just felt overall just great. And then uh, I think I got some footage of, yeah, the hip thrust. It's one set of that. I was able to do three sets um, of eight reps with 225 pounds here. I like going down until the, the, the 45s touch the ground. That's my indicator of being consistent with my form. I believe... You know, everybody does their, their, everyone has a different range of motion, but I always favor always getting full range of motion on all my reps, and that's to be consistent with my, my tracking. What's up, guys? Just finished the workout. Apologize for not filming the complete workout. This, the district manager was on the floor working out, and he was eyeballing me and Tankster. Um... So I didn't want to disrespect the gym and, you know, try to film right in front of him. So, post-workout meal. Just waiting for my daughter Zoe to be dropped off. Show you where we're going. Boom. Lunch time. Hi. California Pizza Kitchen. With Zoe. Hi. Say hi. Hi. Say hi, YouTube. Hi. YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> This is our local mall, the Promenade, it's my cue. Movie theater. Ninja Turtles playing yet? Do you hear Siri? I hear Siri. I can buy the start. What's up guys? So, me and Tanks are going to check out the the California Pizza Kitchen Hawaiian Pizza. We check out the macros on Calorie King and My Fitness Pal, and they match, so they sound about right, so it looks legit. I'm going to get Ninja Turtle Pizza. The macros are, tell them, 27 fat, 145 carbs, and... 64 approach. I need Ninja Turtle so, Pizza. So, you know, the fat is up there, but not as bad as like if you go to Pizza Hut or Domino's. 
so they probably just lay on the cheese a little bit lighter, the sauce a little bit lighter, but uh, should be good. I peep the pizzas. They're pretty good size. Here's my hand. I don't think I want pepperoni on it. It's well worth the fat and the carbs. Ah. They're, they're, I like the thinner crust style, but they look pretty... It tastes good without pepperoni. Pretty good and delicious. I think it's worth the macros. I was afraid that it was going to be like a personal size bacon? Pepperoni. Like Zoe's pepperoni. So, I'll list the macros below in the, in the description box. Check them out. California Pizza Kitchen. Hawaiian. I forgot to show you what Zoe's had. I have a pepperoni pizza. Yeah. She likes the Ninja Turtle. Ah. It's blurry. It's not focusing. Sorry guys. I think I got some pizza sauce on there. There we go. What? <laughs> Lemonade. Diet Coke water. Diet Coke. You go, I go, you stay, I stay, one song, you sing.